Okay, in this video we're going to talk about saving a patch into the live mode so that we can make changes to it and our changes will stay put for Sunday morning. It'll be just the way we left it when we come back uh, from practice Wednesday night. So we found, uh, we're in the computer here and we found one we like. This is an organ called Booker T. So I'm going to put, let's pretend like we're going to use that on the fifth song because I've already got things for Sunday and one through four, so I'm not going to, I'm not going to mess with them. Uh, but we're going to, we're going to put this in live mode five and pretend we're going to use it on the, on the fifth song. So the way I do that, the red button, the button is red because it can be dangerous. We don't want to overwrite what's in the computer. So use this carefully. Um, we're going to hit that button, store. That says we want to put it somewhere, and now that store is activated, we're going to tell it where we'd like to put it. So I'm going to click live mode. So the live mode is on. That means I'm going to live mode, and I'm going to choose five, and I'm happy with that. Live mode five, that's where I want to be. So in order to make it happen, I have to click this again to confirm it. Store. Done. Okay. So now here's the organ in the computer where it was. When I turn on the live mode, it's only going to tell me live mode 5, but when I start playing, that organ will be there. That's what's in live mode 5. Now I can make changes that will stay and be the way uh, I want them to be on Sunday morning. If I were just in the computer mode, remember, any changes that I made to this, whether it's just simply the volume or changing the pedal, those changes are not going to stick once I move on to something else and come back. They'll be gone because it'll just revert to the way that the original patch is saved. So now we've got it in the live mode. Now if we chose, I'm going to take, I've still got the, um, I've got the sort mode on, so I'm going to, I'm going to turn that off. I'm going to use my shift key and now all the lights are gone, so the sort mode is off. Let's say I'm at practice Wednesday night and we come up with something really amazing that we might want to use again in the future. Maybe we, we combined um, a, a pad with some neat strings or some effects or something that we really liked and we said, you know what, we're going to be able to use that again in the future. So I'm working, let's say I'm working in live mode 5, but I want to keep this. So I actually do want to store it to the computer. Well, let me turn off live mode. In the D bank, the D bank is where we store all the things that we create ourselves because the D bank is a copy of A bank. Now John and Jason have put a lot of things into the beginning of D bank. This is BG we brought from the over from the Korg. We've got uh, the strings that we used on the Korg. Uh, Padtropolis was a fun one from the Korg. So they've got some things at the beginning. I've been saying, just because I don't want to step on anybody's toes, I've been saving my things at the end. So each of my things will be in the category of user, and they'll start with a K, K for Karen. So if you wanted to find a blank one, come down to the end of the Ks, and then we're back to something that's, that's just, just randomly there. So that one's K, and then 17.1 is available. Okay, so 17.1, that's where we want to go. So... Live mode 5 was the thing I created that I wanted to save. So I'm going to store it into the computer, into the D-Bank, to keep permanently. So I would store. Where do I want to put it? Now that store is activated, where do I want it? I want to take the live mode off because I want it in the computer. And D171, uh, that's the right place. So I'm going to tell it to store. Okay. So now I have moved the thing that I made into D171. In the next video, I'll show you how to rename that in the computer so that you always know <clears throat> where to find the things that you saved. 